Hi Virgo, welcome to this reading. This is for Virgo Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. Okay, Two of Swords reversed. I felt instantly almost a feeling of frustration. Um, you might be feeling like one thing that this person is not doing is looking at the truth. So something they're doing is refusing to look at the truth or playing ignorant at times. Um, pretending maybe that this is a surface level superficial connection or that they can't feel the connection when I know they can. See, look, the sun reversed. There's frustration from you if this is your reading. It's almost like you're saying, I know you can see the truth. I know you can see that the sun is in the sky. Why are you pretending that you can't see it? We can all see it, whether we like it or not. We've got Leo energy here. We have the fall in reverse, Aries, Aquarius energy. So I think this is more a case of what your person is not doing, not saying. They're not almost admitting their truth 100% or that they can see the truth because they feel it means they will then have to take a leap of faith. So. I don't think you've actually said to them, look, if you confess your feelings or if you confess that you also understand what's going on here on a deep level, it means you have to take, take a chance on this or it means you have to um, end something else. But this is the connection they are making in their head. Um, okay, <clears throat> let's keep going. This um, red ribbon here, it makes me feel that this person 100% knows there's something unique, something... Um, going on here that they don't experience in every connection but they're not really being forthcoming about it they maybe for some of you have never even said that they feel this as well um but you kind of know that they do or it's obvious from their behavior okay, let's see yes and we have the moon pisces energy here now we have three major arcana so far so this is um big and it's impacted them in a big way. It's been profound and you know it, they know it, but they've not really ever just said it directly. Or if they have, it's like they've given you a little bit, but then they've pulled back into the shadows with the moon. So what this person is doing and saying is uh, saying a lot less than they know, saying a lot less than you would like to hear. Um, and not really doing anything, maybe. Definitely not taking that risk to say, look, this is my truth. This is what I've realised. This is what I understand about us. This is the ways in which this connection confuses me. This is the, the ways in which I'm inspired. This is the way, these are the ways in which I'm scared. You know, they're, they're not, not saying any of that. Um, I think they're trying to, as I said, feign a degree of ignorance that they don't actually have. Because even if the sun is reversed, it's still out. It's like it's a cloudy sky, but it's not night time. It's just a cloudy day and there's no point pretending otherwise. Okay, so what is this person doing? Saying, not doing, not saying. Four of Pentacles in the reverse. So, for, ooh, you can't see that at all, hold on. Um, for some of you, you know, instead of facing up to what seems to be so obvious to them um, and revealing their truth, they may actually have, on the surface, let this go it might seem like they they decided you know what i'm just going to release you then i'm going to release this situation because it's easier it's more comfortable it's safer than actually making myself vulnerable or exposing myself um every time i say that i just think of like a flasher um age of pentacles so they could be distracting themselves really focusing on work um if you reach out to this person let's say you're in a situation in which you have light contact um even if you're in actually in a connection i think for most of you you won't be sorry not a connection a relationship for most of you you won't be in a relationship but if you are you could find that this person it's hard to pin them down um and they like to keep it superficial and anytime you start to have a conversation that touches on anything a bit deeper they're like oh you know what i did say i'd phone so and so or i've got a meeting tomorrow so i should go and prepare and it's really annoying or like oh i i remember that the um the i don't know shower needed to be fixed i'm going to go and do that now or whatever um but i think for most of you one thing you will see about this person and how they're showing up right now is they're keeping their head down, they're focusing on the day-to-day -day tasks in life and keeping themselves busy with that, almost as a way to avoid this glaringly obvious truth with the sun here, that this is a very unique situation that they're in with you and it's inspiring them to make a big change. 
okay. I also feel that even, you know, the part of the frustration I feel coming from you, if this is connecting with you as a reading, it's, it's about the delay of time. And you might be feeling like this person, do they feel like they've got unlimited time, that we're both gonna be here forever, having this opportunity forever? Um, I actually don't think so. I think they're aware that they need to get a move on, but it's interesting because even though they have this knowledge and it's with them every day, even while they're distracting themselves from this connection, they also feel this sense of urgency, like, well, this, this situation is not gonna hang around forever. Um, so that could be quite stressful for them. Um, and I'm sure it's kind of stressful and frustrating for you as well amongst other things I'm sure okay so what else is this person actually doing and saying we have the wheel of fortune we have Sagittarius there so they're saying okay if this is meant to be I release it to fate I release it to the universe I'm just gonna go with the flow um, if it's gonna happen it's gonna happen but that feels like a cop-out. Sometimes in life, yes, we need to go with the flow, but that's not what this person is doing. They're using that as an excuse to not take decisive action. Um, it's almost like, um, I don't know, let's say someone wanted to be incredibly famous for whatever reason, and they were praying for it, wishing for it, and then they got the opportunity to perform whatever they perform on stage it was going to be televised across the world that's their opportunity but you know and then this person says okay well if it's meant to be i leave it up to fate what do you mean if it's meant to be you've got to get yourself to the venue you've got to rehearse you've got to actually do the performance um it could things couldn't really be any more lined up for you you're not going to just wake up you know you go to, to to sleep in your bed you wake up at the venue and someone's like amazing performance well done you've got to do it you know you've got to put a bit of effort in so that's what this is um this has been lined up for this person and spirits like what do you mean you're leaving it up to us we've lined it up for you <laughs> will of fortune the fall it's up to you now if you take the opportunity that we have already lined up for you so this whole I'm leaving it up to divine timing, I'm leaving it up to fate. It's a bit of a cop-out, and they know it. We have the devil in reverse, Capricorn energy. Yeah, they've got to release some ties, um, maybe some connections. They've got to release certain thought patterns. Um, with the devil in reverse and the moon, one of the reasons they could be afraid to come forward and say, look, I see what's going on here. I want this chance with you is because they're worried you might find out some things about them that you won't like. So <clears throat> obviously, let's clarify and see what these could be. Four of Cups, Queen of Cups reverse, the Chariot in reverse, Cancer energy there. Um, what's on the back? Nine of Cups reverse. There could be a tendency to overindulge. They could have some kind of habit or addiction even that they're trying to get over or they did have it in the past. Um, this could be someone who has a person in their life. Feminine energy doesn't have to necessarily be a woman, but feminine energy um who is dependent or manipulative and they could almost be ashamed of their connection with this person i just feel there's with the chariot reverse there's a general lack of focus or certainty they it's like they've almost been meandering through life and they might see you as very focused and they might feel that you would be unimpressed by their lack of focus or their lack of knowing of where they're going next so i think it's maybe their self-esteem that's that this devil energy is talking about um even if there are also other things like let's say there has been an addiction or there is an addiction or um with the moon here that's being hidden away so for you know for someone or some of you this could even be someone who is in prison or has been to prison because you know it's like they've been in a situation where they haven't been able to get out and they've almost been removed from society um but whatever it is, even if we have those those practical situations going on, um, it's really, it comes back to their self-esteem because someone could say, look, I have this habit or addiction, I'm aware of it, I'm working on it, or I had it, I'm over it, or yes, I went to prison, um, 
I've changed my life around. You know, you could still have that confidence. Um, uh, what's that expression? We're not our choices. I don't know if that's a thing I've just made up. <laughs> but yeah, no, it comes back to self-esteem. It's like, oh, I wonder when you, you know, if you see the full truth of me, if you'll be put off, if you see that I sort of, I've been lazy in the past or I've not taken opportunities that have come up in the past. So what? That was the past, you know, but they're still holding that um, almost against themselves because I do think they see you as very focused like you've always known whether you have or not what's next and you've, you're very driven self-motivated um, but yeah I can't get past this is this is kind of hilarious you know the full reverse will of fortune oh you know divine timing divine timing if the opportunity arises I'll take it well it's right there <laughs> um, so what are they doing not lots of distracting themselves not taking the action towards you i think that they would like to but are afraid to that you would like to see um for some of you straight up not talking not really telling you their truth for others of you giving you some just enough to make you think oh wow something's happening here and then pulling back and also giving away their power a bit and saying if it's meant to be it will be but kind of not realizing the moment to step in and take over from the universe is now. Okay, so let's get a couple of Oracle messages and then we'll have a look at what they would like to be saying and doing. <clears throat> I will say in part, I suppose what they would like to be saying and doing is exactly what they're doing because I guess in some way it makes them feel safe. But um, looking beyond like the fears and, and limitations of the ego, what would they really like to be saying and doing? Okay, so can you give us an oracle card, please? An oracle message or two. We have hope, okay. Oh, I'm not taking all of those. Another thing I'm getting from this card um, is that they could be stuck in a situation or stuck in something that's kind of dead. There's no more growth to be had, and yet they're still maintaining some degree of hope. Um, or is it even hope? Is it just this is my safety net? So I don't know if it's a job, a relationship, a place they're living, something they're doing, investing time in. Okay, and then we have joy. So we have primrose and snowdrop, and then we have pomegranate flower. Do you know what I feel? This pomegranate is making me think of Hades and Persephone. Um, Hades wanted Persephone, couldn't have her, tricked her to get her, and now she spends, I think it's like six months of the year down in Hades with him, six months above, um, sort of on, on this plane. Um, I, I just feel that this person doesn't feel good enough for you. They almost feel like even though maybe you're here and you're showing or you've said to them that you're interested and they know there's an opportunity available, they don't really believe it. It's almost like, yeah, but if you really see who I really am, the opportunity won't be there. So I feel like to have a chance with you, I've probably got to trick you like Hades and Persephone. Um, this joy isn't available to me you know, in any other way without me playing some games or manipulation or, or tricking you. It could also be that this person, you know, this is what they're used to. Look at this snow, this frost, the trees have nothing growing on them. We've got, okay, yeah, a couple of flowers, but not much, versus the joy, the abundance they could have with you. It's out of proportion with what they're used to. So they might feel that they're, they're actually, deep down, they're afraid. They're afraid to reach for this because it seems too good to be true or like they're not deserving of it. Um, what if they start to believe in it really that they can actually have this and keep it and they reach for it and it goes away? That would be very painful, devastating. Um, it's almost like, well, it's better just, just be in this frosty wasteland and, um, and just have tiny glimmers of joy here and there. You know, at least that's familiar. At least that's safe. Okay, so if you have felt then that this person has, their behavior has been a rejection, that they made you feel you're not good enough, I think it's, it's, it's you know, just a projection of themselves. They feel like they're not good enough. Um, they have rejected themselves. They have at times rejected this 
opportunity here with you because it, it seems too good. The sun's reversed. It's too bright. It brings too much happiness, too much abundance. Um, they're not used to it. They don't know what to do with it. They might not believe it's real. How could, you know, maybe how could someone like you be interested in someone like me? Maybe, you know, they've worn a mask and they believe that you could be interested in the mask, but not really them. <clears throat> Um, also, looking at these cards, the moon, which can talk about going deep intuitively or mentally here with the Queen of Cups reversed, the Chariot reversed and the Four of Cups. This could be someone who does or has in the past struggled with some kind of psychological or emotional, maybe both, um, situation issue so maybe they've they've had their struggles and they might feel that that would you know you'd look at that and think oh no that seems too much for me or that's your week or something like that you know all of these the ways they talk negatively to themselves i think they just assume other people would feel the same when they probably wouldn't um okay so can you show us spirit how would this person actually like to behave towards my viewer what would they actually like to say how would they like to behave what would they like to say we have the fall in the reverse four of pentacles reversed so you see how it really is on their mind, this opportunity and the fact that they should do something about it soon. It's not going to be here forever. We have the Empress reversed, the Taurus Libra. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse, lots of reversals. What would they like to do? What would they actually like to say? Page of Pentacles. We have one that flipped. The Ace of Pentacles. What would they like to do? What would they like to say? Queen of Pentacles reversed and we have Judgment in reverse. Okay. Eight of Wands reversed on the back. The Magician underneath. Gemini energy there. Okay. This is a person who, in a sense, I will say, doesn't exactly know what they would like to do or say, except that they are confused. They are overwhelmed. That's the first thing they would like to confess to you um, and, and would want for you to know. I almost feel like they would want to say to you, here are some things I know I want, but I'm confused as to how to make this transition or to make them happen. So let me start with the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles, both reversed. For some of you, this is going to be a person who's in another relationship, a romantic relationship with another person. They could even have a family together. Or it could be that they have a very involved parent or some kind of mentor, but, but someone who is significant enough that they're showing up in this sort of parental role. Um, so whether it's like a spouse, someone in a relationship, someone who is this parental figure, there is someone who really affects the choices that this person makes. Um, and it's like right now, they're not fully aligned with that person and they're not fully aligned with you because emotionally they're unhappy with the degree of control and commitment that this other person has over them and the, the level of commitment they have with this person because emotionally it's just not doing it for them and they might feel restricted and like it's just not appropriate anymore but then with you they're not investing in a practical sense so they're in some sort of middle place and not really happy with the situations on either end in terms of how they look um we also have the Ten of Pentacles reversed with Judgment reversed. So you see it's like they need to call it time, they need to end something that's very present and manifested. Um, whether that's um, a work situation and the person that has a lot of say in their life is their boss, you know, especially if right now your person's life pretty much is work and it's like if their boss calls them at whatever time they get up, they go in, you know, maybe they're doing lots of traveling and they're, they're working very closely with this other person. So it's like they've got to end that, whether it's um, telling their parents, you know, I'm moving out or whatever it is or telling their partner, I think this is over. 
That will then allow them to invest not just emotionally here with you, but also in a practical sense. But judgment is reversed. So there's confusion, there is fear, there, there's nerves around making that final cut and just doing it. Um, if we go over here, four of pentacles reversed with the ace of pentacles. They, they, this person has so much fear. The four of pentacles is I, I've got four coins and it's okay. Um, I know other people have more and I could probably have more, but what if I get up and I let my four coins go and I lose them and I don't get more? You know, this cat, this person's intuition is saying, let's go out this window. You're actually locked in here. Let's go out the window. Let's expand. Let's see what else is out there. Let's stop hiding away. But this guy here, he's very fearful. He's like, maybe I, maybe I should just have the four pentacles and be happy with what I've got. This person doesn't want to be in this fear mindset anymore. They want to take this opportunity, the ace of pentacles. But we know an ace is not guaranteed. It's just an opportunity. It, it kind of unfolds depending on what we make of it. Um, <clears throat> So there's nerves. What if I let go of the four tangible coins I have for one that may stay, may evolve into the ten of coins, or it might disappear and then I'll have no coins. Now, the thing is, the aces are really what we make of them. So the truth is, this person is the magician. They know they have it, you know, within their power to make something of this. They they know you're the magician for sure. They I just get the feeling they see you as... Um, someone who is unstoppable they probably in fact haven't given you enough credit for the fact that sometimes you need downtime sometimes you don't want to drive everything sometimes you want to be you just want to follow where someone else makes a decision you know you don't always want to be hands-on doing everything um but that's how they see you very very in control the magician you can make things work for you this person doesn't believe so much in their own personal power so they don't have the confidence to say if i'm given an opportunity that's all i need if you give me the opportunity i will make it work it's like well i want to but i know sometimes i can be a bit wishy-washy sometimes i can be a bit lazy or i can procrastinate or sometimes i just i just get tired what if i can't sustain this what if i can't keep it going so that's another reason perhaps that in terms of what they're actually doing you're not seeing them coming forward or you might be seeing effort that's not consistent because this person is like sometimes they might run out of steam or they just they feel like they will so it's like well i won't bother in the first place um but lots and lots of self-doubt is coming through today the full reversed page of pentacles yes you know exactly they would like to be this page they would like to feel more carefree they would like to say right i've got one pentacle that's enough i can have more i'm i'm setting out on this journey um so i think what they would like to say is of course i have you know these mutual feelings here um i know this connection is special but the thing that's really on my mind is the practical realm how do i make these changes and if i make them can we really make this work and do i have what it takes to show up and do my part and you can't answer that for them you know that's something they know they've got to um answer for themselves they've got to find that within themselves and i think if they are dealing with something here whether it's um this person when things get difficult they zone out or they cover up you know with by doing something else they've got to address that first because that's just not going to work here you know whoops Okay, this ace of, um, sorry, eight of wands reversed clearly wants to be a part of this. Um, I mean, you know, this eight of wands, it's very chaotic. So I just think they're worried that things, I think things can get too much for this person. Um, I don't know if they consider themselves to be easily overwhelmed or if they've just got a lot going on, lots of responsibilities. So if anything else is added on top, it's overwhelming. But there's lots and lots of doubt that they feel about themselves whereas in contrast they do not doubt you and that's fantastic but at the same time I think it intimidates them a bit because they feel like you can have this single-minded focus and you will make something work if you want to you know doesn't matter what comes up or if you encounter a setback you will deal with it you will move forward and what they don't want is to enter into a um a commitment or a situation with you where you basically become the parent and they're, they're kind of the child like along for the ride and I do wonder if that's the dynamic that's played out in previous relationships they've been in that in some sort of a way whoever they've partnered up with has provided something in the situation for your person that they have not been able to provide for themselves and that's being codependent and they do not want that a codependent situation with you so it could be that the other person for them you know in these other relationships usually provides 
uh, finances or this person works very hard or this person can maintain the home realm or something so it's almost like your person's just been like right I'm good at this and this I lack that and, and this thing over here that person has those things I'll just go be with them they can do that that's fine but not like in a healthy oh we're interdependent we both bring to the connection almost like I should probably develop these things within myself but I'm just not going to I'll let you do them instead they don't want that situation here with you and at the same time they do feel like you're this powerful magician so it's not even that you're lacking some things that they can bring you can do it all yourself they've seen you it doesn't mean you want to but you can um, because I think they've been watching something you've been doing here and it's like right well clearly you don't need me or anyone else so I've got to really level up here Oh, okay, let's get some oracle cards. So yeah, I think they would just like to be, they would like to be open to, they want to be more vulnerable and open to, to chancing it, to risking it, to saying, you know what, okay, let's go for it. I know an ace of pentacles isn't guaranteed, but let's just see, let's just go for it. Let's, you know, I don't want to be so in my head. I don't want to be so stressed. I don't want to be so worried all the time. I don't even see that they would they would necessarily want to have a big conversation about how they feel because for them even if they've never said anything to you about it it's so obvious it's all, it's almost like it's a given yeah you feel this way for me I feel this way for you right so what are we going to do about it you know um which is interesting because I feel for some of you watching this person has never actually told you how they feel but it's just something they know to be a truth okay so let's see what would this person actually like to say and do? Okay, we have first quarter moon in Libra. Keep your heart open. Exactly. This person just wants to be less afraid. They just want to be more hopeful. They might feel like they're not a hopeful person. Maybe they've had many disappointments or something like that. And um, they're jaded or afraid or cynical or something, you know um they just they just want to be open-hearted and to, to chance it and to believe in the best we have first quarter moon in aquarius trust the universe yeah trust openness this person might be needing some heart healing here um heart chakra healing but yeah they just want to to be more hopeful to be more relaxed about things to believe more that things will work for them rather than against them Okay, what would this person actually like to say and do? Not the right time. What would they like to say and do? Um, I'm getting a message. So I mentioned before that for some of you, this could be this person saying, um, I have spent some time in prison. It could also be with that message coming through about um, emotional health, mental health. It could also be a hospital of some kind as well. Okay, let's see. Big happy changes. You see this? This is it. There are they could have big happy changes right now but they're afraid so they're saying it's not the right time look this wheel of fortune with the fall reversed you know i'm just going to give it uh, give it up to the universe give it over to the divine well the, yes you have done that and the divine has lined this up for you it's, it's time to take action but um and look if we look at these cards we've got all of this light in this card and then just a tiny bit here in this not the right time this person squashes their personal power they push their intuition away they don't trust themselves enough and it, i think it makes them feel very very low possibly even depressed just just you know they're not letting themselves live and be the fullness of who they are and that's what they would like to be doing right now they see the opportunity they truly know it's for them they can go for it if they want to and they just wish they were more brave they wish they were less tense and that they could believe in the best not the worst you know um okay i think this is someone who generally might feel quite um 
inspired by, but also maybe a little bit envious of, of anyone they meet in life who seems to be more carefree and who chances things and who is more optimistic than they are. It's like, gosh, I wish I could be more like that. That looks fun. That looks much happier than how I feel. Okay, so I will leave this here. So thank you so much for watching. I hope it resonated. Um, let me know in the comments if it did. And um, like I said, I'll be back on Tuesday, not Monday. So I hope you have a lovely weekend or, you know, a lovely time whenever you find this video. And I will see you soon. Bye.